Want to keep up with the latest Gary Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, in this video, we are going to be playing Flashing Lights. And if you guys have never seen this game before, pretty much the whole premise is that you get to play as different emergency units. So, in this video specifically, we're going to be playing as paramedics. We're going to be driving this big red ambulance, which is pretty, pretty cool, I must say. Um, actually, guys, fun fact. If you guys didn't know, I've started college and a few of my friends or a few of the people I've been meeting, they are actually going to school to become paramedics. And it's, it's honestly, it's kind of crazy how much school you have to do. Uh, one of the guys is saying that there's like seven years he has to do because you have to do like work in between or whatever in between getting your degree. So kind of cool. But either way, guys, before we get started, here's a message from our sponsor. Do you want to make money when you're sleeping? Salad is a PC app that allows you to make real money at the push of a button. Salad is a mining app that aims to be the safest and easiest way to monetize your PC's idle resources. Salad uses your computer's GPU to mine Ethereum, similar to how Bitcoins are mined. This does, however, have a few tech requirements. The main requirement is that your GPU has at least 4 GB of VRAM. I have some good news for you. The PC app is easy to download. Simply click the link provided in the description below, download Salad, run the automatic installer, and then click the green start button. After running the app, you can choose what reward you would like to receive. Some of the options are from Amazon gift cards, Xbox gift cards, Steam gift cards, Discord Nitro, purchase games, and even receive physical rewards such as a NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti. Salad has been generous in providing the GearPlays community with an additional $2 sign-up bonus after running the program for 12 hours. Make sure to enter code GP when signing up to receive the bonus. Okay, guys, so there we go. Hopefully, you guys, do check out our sponsor. Um, there's actually only a few more videos where uh, Salad will be sponsoring, I believe. So, pretty cool. Uh, vehicle incident. Let's go ahead and respond. Uh, yeah, guys, so if you guys didn't know, uh, just a fun fact. At least the current plan is uh, that Salad's sponsors just for like a month. And yeah, it's, I don't know, it's now September, so... We started a few days in August. It's kind of kind of cool. Um, okay, how do we do this? I think let's just take this interstate kind of up. We'll take the first off ramp. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so let's definitely get our lights and sirens on. I I kind of forgot about that one. My bad. Um, also, guys, again, I haven't really finalized my setup in this new uh, room. It's I don't know. It's it. it what I have going kind of works, but at the same time, it definitely needs some improvements. Um, I I know there's a bit of like an echo almost, and a big issue, guys, right now is that uh, the floor that I'm on, I'm in the basement again, just like how I was at my old house. Um, but I do have a roommate down here as well, and I know he's able to hear when I'm recording videos. So he's out right now, but I'm trying to be a little bit quieter, just kind of keep that in mind. In this college, um, college dorm, if you guys didn't know, it's actually a townhouse, but it does cl uh, classify as a college, like, residency, but, yeah, pretty much, oh jeez, um, this person's not doing too good, but, yeah, the walls are so thin, and, like, I don't know, it's kind of crazy, also, I have this really loud furnace in the room next door, and I hope you guys don't hear it too much, I know my mic does pick it up a bit, um, but hopefully we can just kind of talk over that. I don't. I really don't know what I'm going to do about that one. And th one option is I could move my desk to the other side of the room. But that would be... I, I, I don't even know if I could really. It, it, it would be weird. It would definitely be weird. Okay. Um, let's go ahead, guys. Spec patient. Here we go. And we'll see how they're doing. I'm guessing they're going to need a fracture kit for something since they're laying, laying down in such a weird way. Um, but only time will tell. So let's see. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Did we not finish? No, we didn't. Did, were those two vehicles racing or what was happening there? It sound, sounded kind of quick. Perform CPR. Oh, geez. Remove, close. Okay. Perform CPR. Here we go. Come on. Save her. Save her. I believe in you. I believe in you. Let's see think we'll save them uh use the free later okay 
we will do just that. And yes, I did kind of walk over them there. Defibrillator, let's see how they're doing. Uh, okay, let's put in the leads. There we go. Okay, shock patient. Whoops. Oh, yeah, okay. No, that's the right button. Shock pads. There we go. Shock. Clear. There we go. Okay, they're doing good. Remove all. Grab the stretcher. Uh, we'll also grab our medical bag. If I can. Um. Oh, see? Oh, I... Okay, wait, can we load them in the stretcher? Because now it's saying that we need to interact with them again. That's not good. I might have messed that up there. <laughs> stretcher, come on. Please just work. Please work. Saying I can pick them up? Yes, maybe. Let's see. It's kind of hard to get... Can you move out of the way, cop? Like, I'm trying not to run over them, but yeah, I'm definitely running over them. Okay, pick them up. There we go. Nice and realistic. It's very hard to walk this thing up there. There we go. Okay, grab the bag. Put the bag in there. Close this up. See ya later. Okay. So yeah, let's get going here. Move out of the way. There we go. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? What are these drivers doing? They're so bad at driving in this game. I swear. Okay. How do we... Oh, I went the wrong way. Hmm. This way will work. It's just... It's a... Oh, Jesus! Okay. It's a very windy road. Are you okay back there? We don't have a secondary unit with us. So, it's kind of hard to tell uh, how they're doing. I, I hope they're okay. They were in stable condition when we started driving them, but... Yeah, I hope they don't get... Any kind of like uh, car car sickness or like motion sickness, because like, if they get car sick, they might not be doing too good right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Also, guys, I hope you don't mind. Like, I know I'm seeming a little bit more chill right now, almost. Um, and again, I'm just I'm trying to just be respectful of my roommates and stuff. Um, I know I would not want to be. Uh, the one just being woken up or is just being annoyed by another roommate talking a lot. So, yeah, hope, hopefully um, just everything in general will be good. My, guys, my roommates are really chill. It's just that I obviously want to be respectful. I know that they're not really going to mention anything directly to me. Um, and, like, I respect that. <laughs> but, obviously, just because they don't mention anything about it doesn't mean that I shouldn't be aware of uh, it, right? So, yeah. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going, though. We're definitely doing these corners quick here. Should we drift this one? Here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I need Spencer to TV to teach me how to drive. Spencer's honestly kind of good at drifting. Don't tell him I said that. Like, guys, do not tell him I said that. He will, he will bug me about that one. <laughs> do not tell him that I said he's good at driving. Because, okay, at times, it's a bit scary. But at other times, like, I don't know. He, he's good at doing the whole drifting thing in here. There we go. <laughs> now you guys are all just going to tell him that I said he's a good driver. And then he's going to send me a text being like, Do you think I'm a good driver? And I'll be like, no. And then he won't believe it. So, yeah. Th just thank you guys in advance for that one. Okay, let's go ahead. If you guys don't know who Spencer TV is, I guess a few of you might not. Um... But yeah, we used to record a lot together. We, we honestly, we, we need to record more. It's just with our school schedules, it's kind of, kind of a struggle. Um, but yeah, he's a farm single YouTuber. He's brothers with the squad. Squad has like 700k subs. Spencer TV has like 200k subs. So yeah, they're they're both, both quite big. Um, but yeah, Spencer. I don't know. He, he helped us out a lot with growing this channel, which I can never thank him enough for. But yeah, okay guys, so either way, before we continue, here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lambamod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modern creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay guys, so 
anyways, let's go ahead and get moving here. Uh, ooh, we have a new type of light. Do you guys see that? That kind of running one at the back. Or maybe I just clicked something. Yeah, if you click button three, it does that. That's kind of cool. Maybe that's always been a thing. And I just didn't know. Huh. Oh, yeah, you can make it do a few different things. Okay, vehicle incident. Let's go ahead and get that. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn on all those lights. Okay, where is this one? Is it the same? No, that's a different spot, right? Yeah, okay. I'm fairly certain that's a different spot. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll get going here. So we're going to have to turn at the same location. Pretty pretty cool. I, I really hope this is in the same spot. I, I, don't, I don't think it is. Here we go, though. Okay, so yeah, I guess there's lots of new lighting options. Yeah, that back bar, we can kind of adjust what it's doing. Um, yeah, I don't know, but in 5, 4, and 3 seem to all adjust that bar. Kind of like that. It's a little detail, I guess. I wonder if, like, it has an effect on what traffic's doing. Will it tell, like, traffic to, like, move? To, like, if we're parked at the side, should we have that on? And then they know to go around us? Is that what it does? Or is it just kind of for looks? I'm guessing it's probably just for looks, but who knows? Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Um, by the way, as in September, like, we should be getting a working ladder truck for the fire truck by the end. That, I just saw nature grow that thing. That's kind of cool. That was also kind of weird. Yeah, stuff's really uh, loading slow right now. I don't know, like, what are all these trees and stuff doing? Very interesting. I'm going to have to look at, like, yeah, the textures are definitely loading weirdly here. Okay, here we are. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just go out. <laughs> Inspect the patient so we know we need our medic bag. There we go. Uh, I'm guessing they're going to have a messed up arm or something. Inspect patient. Let's see. Do you need a fracture kit? There we go. It's kind of like repetitive. All of us like checking how the person's doing. How you have to do like one at a time. I don't know. I, I guess some people might enjoy that. It adds in a level of detail, but it's just... It's not my thing. It's definitely not my thing. Uh, defibrillator. Okay, hello. Um. Oh. Wait, what? I have to remove the... What? How can I... Re There's no button to remove clothing there, though. Do I have to put this down first? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Put that in there. Go like this. Go like this. Close. Um, yeah, I think that should be good now. It's kind of weird. Okay, and then we need technical defibrillator. And then fly back over. Put on the leads. There we go. There's one. There's two. There's three. They look good. Yeah, use fracture kit. Okay, that's what I was expecting, honestly. So here we go. Um, I'm going to actually take this off too move all should we just shock them for fun no i'm joking that would be so painful if you're breathing and you get shocked that definitely happens though no doubt in my mind that that happens quite often like they get shocked a few times and then start breathing and the people just don't realize grab stretcher from the back actually i think it's automatic like most of them do everything automatically and they kind of tell you what's happening I do have first aid training, actually, guys, but I don't know. It was a while ago. I don't remember that much. And I only, I did, some people do like a two day, there's obviously different levels of like training you can have. I just did like a quick one day course a while ago. I learned some stuff, definitely, but yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I know everything by any means. And obviously paramedics know a lot more than what a first aid training course would teach you. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so let's get moving here. Turn around, I guess. Here we go. Yeah, I, we, we could turn on the sirens, I guess, but as long as cars move out of the way, we should be... Oh, jeez. We should be chilling. Yeah, that's a bit scary. First in the back is probably like, why am I in here? 
Okay, let's see. Are you... Are you kidding me? They literally just stopped. Get out of the way. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, not too far. Yeah, we, we definitely went the better way back. Come on. Let's go. Move out of the way. Oh, jeez. Oh, we almost hit the guardrail there. Or the barrier. That, that would have been bad. That would have damaged our vehicle. And on top of that, I'm guessing the person in the back would not be doing too good. Just like around that corner we just did. They're probably not not feeling too good after us drifting a bit there. Here we go. Okay, we'll turn off the siren. Perfect. Let's get up here. Just just so they kind of hear that we are here. It's kind of weird. There's no one like to collect the patient. Like usually there are people ready to bring in the patient, but guess not here. Uh, stretcher. At least I think that's how it is. Like they have workers rating uh, like doctors, nurses. I don't know. Probably not doctors, but someone to help assist the ambulance drivers, the paramedics for bringing people in. Guys, let me know, actually. You guys probably know better than I do with that. Like, when you get to a hospital, an ambulance, are there extra people there to help you help, like, bring someone in, like, rush someone into the hospital? Let me know. Let me know. Last time I was in a hospital was, was when I got hit by that car. And there were, I do remember there being people. Um, now, they may, maybe just the paramedics hopped in the vehicle, but I'm, I'm fairly certain there was also some kind of doctor who helped out as well or even there might have been, even been two not quite sure anyways thanks for watching you guys are awesome hope you guys did enjoy i know this video was a little bit of a different style um i once i've like figured out everyone's schedules in my place like if there's a time that i know all of my roommates are away then i will definitely be able to uh, record a bit louder at those times but for now just kind of got to Got to be aware of what's happening around me. So thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.